Check it out, homies. Some of my finds today. Out here with my buddy Cam. We've got fossil recovery exploration out here. Pretty awesome place. Um, I wanted to come out here because he invited me on a, a free tour to check out some of the awesome fossils that we can find. And I wanted to get something cool for the kids to be involved with because, you know, hey, I teach these kiddos maybe, you know, one day a month and there's 28, 29 other days in the month. So might as well share that love, send them on down here, right? But we found some cool stuff. This is piece of a, um, of a mammoth tusk. Mammoth tusk. That's some mammoth remains too right there. There's a piece of a uh, turtle. These are all fossilized, so it's all rock. And there we got a um, mako, and we got some bull shark teeth in there. Some These are the tiger shark yep. ones, right? Yep. That are curved. Mm -hmm. And then the snaggle tooth. Yep. And then this one right here is not a snaggle tooth. It's that's actually the lower. upper. That's the upper teeth. Or no, these are the lower teeth, and that's the upper teeth right. on the mako. That's, that's right. Awesome. He's been teaching me some cool things. These little cool things are called the Indian beads. But what they, they actually are, are like basically a worm casting that's been um, preserved and, and turned into rock. So this would have been the top of the earth where a worm would have come out, right? Yep. <laughs> Pretty dang cool. What's some of this other awesome stuff here? We got the... Um, dugong ribs. The, the hot dog dugong <laughs> rib. You know, so I don't know if you guys know what a dugong is, but a dugong is a relative of the manatee. And like the manatee, he got no bone marrow. And I had to ask homie over here if these things still even existed because I knew they were extinct here, but they still are alive on planet Earth. Yep. But they're over... On where? the Eastern Hemisphere, Asia. Yeah. Yep. Wow. They used to be here in Florida at one time because their food source disappeared, and that's why they're not here. That's so wild. But the Megalodon, it was a feeding thing for the Megalodon. They would eat the mm -hmm. dugong. Ooh, speaking of cool critters, I just saw this that we found today. That was a huge score. Can yeah. you tell me a little bit about this guy? So this is a part of a glipodont scoot or osteoderm. So they, so if you can picture an armadillo size of Volkswagen bug, these things running around here was amazing. So this would be one section of the scoot. An armadillo the size so of a, a Volkswagen, Volkswagen bug. bug. Yeah. Holy cow, that's cool. Wow. And here you got a, a uh, alligator osteoderm. So on the back of the alligator. Yep. They would use this like a radiator. So mm -hmm. when they, when they get cold, they would come up and the heat source would go to this and it would warm the alligator mm -hmm. up. So it was kind of act like a radiator for them. And when they would cool off, then they'd go into the water and this would help them. Mm -hmm. And the scoot too, guys, keep this in mind, how that's angled up like that. You could also think of that like a biological solar panel for that alligator. Here you go. You know, so because of those angles and those ridges on the skin, it optimizes that sun. Yep. You know, no different than how our solar panels kind of change in the daylight. You know, they can reposition themselves, but they maximize that sunlight. That's so right. those are also acting like a solar panel. So how cool is it that gators haven't really changed yeah. at all since the dinosaurs have that's been right. around, other than they got a little smaller. You know, I mean, I think that's incredible. We've got several um, little pieces of a prehistoric turtle. Pretty cool. Well, I guess it wouldn't really be called prehistoric, would it? But it's still probably about... Well, well it takes 2,000 years for something to fossilize. Uh -huh. So, you know, these are really old, but they're water, typical water turtles like you would see now. Mm -hmm. But we would find giant tortoises out here also. We find spurs. Yeah, yeah. And, and parts of the tortoises out here. So it's pretty cool. And we had giant sloths. How big were those? Like 12, 17 oh. feet tall or oh, something yeah. crazy? They, they were 20 foot tall. What? Oh, yeah. 20 feet. Yeah, let me show you, let me show you how big they were. <laughs> Oh, yay. Can you guys imagine a 20-foot tall sloth roaming around in Florida? Holy cow. Wow. We also had uh, bear dogs down here. So this is a claw from a sloth. No way. That is from a giant sloth. One and claw. I've got bi giant bear paws, and that's still huge. That's huge. And this is Holy one cow. tooth. It's a tooth from a sloth. Oh, one tooth man. in its head. So you, thankfully they wouldn't slash you and eat you because they didn't eat meat looking at that tooth, huh? No. They were still herbivores. Cool. That is amazing. What other cool stuff do you have in there? Oh, we got some legs. We got a 
a mammoth oh, tooth. That's beautiful. one tooth in a mammoth. They had six of these teeth in their head. Wow. That's one tooth. Imagine trying to find a dentist to help you out with that. <laughs> and here we go with a megalodon. It's one large megalodon tooth. So if they say wow. for every inch of the tooth was a 10 foot shark. So if this is five inches, this would have 50 foot megalodon. It's Jeez. one tooth here. That's scary. A 50 foot megalodon. I don't think I would go snorkeling anymore. No. I would just stick to the nope. woods. Oh, man. Well, how cool, guys. Come out here and check it out. I'm making some art out of mine. You can get these awesome little cases to remember your experience, a little glass cover. So I'm turning my little fossils into some cool art. Ooh, let's add the little mouthpiece of a stingray. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much for You're having welcome. me out here, brother. Out here. Guys, come and check it out. Fossil Recovery Exploration. Arcadia, Florida. Arcadia, Florida. In the house.